Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Big John from Big John's Bully House. It's been slow, man, um, for trapping and hunting. Today it's up in the 50s right now, so we ended up coming out here. As you can see, we got a decent sized one here in this tree. Back out here with Savage, I know everybody's been asking for videos of uh, hunting and everything with Savage again, so. Let's see if we can't get this one out. We haven't even been here, what, three minutes, boys? About almost five, yeah. yeah five minutes, and I already got one, so okay. hopefully this is a good, good night for us. They ended up getting down here in the water, man. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I got the bullets in your pocket. There you go, Savage. Oh. We're going ahead. I'm gonna. I gotta jump down here and get them out of uh, out of this pond and or this natural spring and everything, man. With all this mud and ice, go ahead and uh, as soon as I get him back up here with this coon and everything, man, I'll start this video back up again. So here's the result. Uh, savage coon, both covered in mud and water. Uh, you see that boy there, just covered in it. So. But we're not done yet. We just brought this coon back to the truck. Leave this here. Put Savage back in the dog box. And then go hit another piece of the property. And see what else we can get tonight. Hey, what's going on? Uh, last night, man, we stopped the video of hunting. We didn't have any other luck. Come out here this morning. Pulling all the traps, gonna reset them in different spots uh, out here on the property. Ended up coming out here and got this guy here. He looks real young, man, so go ahead and let this little guy go. And then uh, hopefully I can do it. I ain't got my water boots on and everything today man so hopefully I'll be able to get him out of there without getting without getting bit or scratched up this morning man ended up getting him out not scratched up not bit Like I said, he's a little guy, so ain't no point in dispatching a little coon. There he goes in the water. I know in a lot of the videos, man, I do with this, uh, especially this property here that we come to, a lot of people don't get to see everything because it's at night time so i figured go ahead and show you guys 
what it looks like a little bit in the daytime. We got 180 acres out here. We just, <coughs> excuse me. We just try to help everybody out, you know, the farmers and everything. Like I said, where we're at right now, um, knowing the man since I was a kid, started coming out here with my father. And now I still come out here and the old man, uh, show the old man videos, I show the old man pictures. Well, this is it. Every morning, I come out here and I get to see this. Go ahead and keep going down the trap line, checking traps and pulling them. These are the traps that I use um, for everybody that was asking. Wolf Creek Diablo DPs. Literally all it is. Little coon cuff. Set it. Dog mechanism in the back. There's a the trigger. Coon grabs the marshmallow that we put on the trigger. Sets the trap off, holds him doesn't hurt them doesn't break their legs nothing like that <clears throat> excuse me like you guys just seen that young kitten coon i was able to release him and uh no injury no nothing he ran off got in the water and got away from me i'm using a 130 uh excuse me a hatson 130 30 caliber break barrel pellet gun decent little gun um under three hundred dollars you can get them with the scope and all that man i just i'm not a fan of the scopes i like the iron sights decent little gun though man um <clears throat> kind of going back and forth between sending this back to uh air gun depot and trading it for a 22 caliber but uh Greg there assured me that they got three new slugs coming out. So we might just hang on to it and see what the three new slugs are like. And uh, just buy the 22 caliber later on here. So that way I got a different variety of them. You know, a lot of people ask too, why, why I use a pellet gun? Short and sweet and simple. I was a kid and made a lot of dumb fucking choices. Um, so, I can't have my Foyd card. So that's why I use a pellet gun. <laughs> Made a lot of dumb choices as a young man. Um, and throughout the years, did a lot of fighting. In Illinois, any type of charges you get like that, of fighting and all that fun-filled shit, they, uh, got that nice little law that anytime you try to cause harm to another human being it stays on your record forever you can never get it expunged so that's why we use a pellet gun bigger pellet gun works pretty good as you can see in all the videos man um, besides the one with my father he had a 22 long rifle old Remington or uh, not a Remington Ruger excuse me Ruger 22, but even in that video, my father had to 
shoot the coon four or five times before it even decided to come out and when it did decide to come out it still come out fighting the savage uh they got tore up pretty good that night but just goes to show you man how strong these coons are and why we call them baby bears up here these some bitches uh i whoop a dog's ass quick especially if your dog has no idea how to even handle a coon and i know there's a lot of people on the videos man oh man my dog would do it start small before you throw your dog to uh throw your dog to the wolves so to speak because a raccoon it ain't nothing to play with man uh it will hurt your dog i've seen plenty of dogs get torn up walker coon hounds my father raised them for years i watched his dog man one of his dogs uh old champion river been rowdy got his eyeball pulled out of his skull i was a young kid man seeing that shit freaked me out my father you know uh wash his hands off put the dog's eye back in whatnot man it was unreal uh my uncle gary rest in peace to him his dog got killed in a river coon drowned his dog they got out there in the water and uh the coon had the upper hand on him ended up killing my uncle gary's favorite coon hound uh yeah like i said man raccoons are no joke nothing to play with are they wild boars no are they bears no it's not nothing like that but i promise you take your dog out there in the woods and uh you want to see how tough your dog is i guess or you think your dog can do it i promise you it's not gonna end how you thought it was gonna but if you want to know where i get the traps from i got them from pcs outdoors the gun uh the pellet gun again air gun depot ask for greg tell him john williamson sent you that guy right there take care of you um get you set up he'll let you know the guidelines and the rules and the laws for your state what you can't have what you can't have also everybody that was asking um about the hooch times little miss bossy litter i forgot to mention uh that's that's literally any day Pups should be here any day. Uh, as far as prices, not putting no prices on them until pups are here. I do not take deposits until pups are at least four weeks of age. I want to give a huge shout out to all the subscribers, new and old. All the love, likes, shares, comments, followers. We're trying to hit a new property tonight. Um, see if we can't get some more footage of Savage. As far as the line breeding and end breeding on this litter, um, I've had people speak on that. Savage is a two times hooch son, hooch bred back to his most extreme daughter, Princess. If you do not know who Princess is, go check out the videos. Produce Savage, Whittle, Bubba, uh, etc. Man. Had no problems, had no complications, had no deformities, no nothing. You got to know what you're doing when you're breeding dogs. Uh, you got to match the dogs just right. I don't know, I'm not talking matching pedigrees. I'm talking the dog itself. That's what a lot of people forget, man. Um, you're not breeding paperwork to paperwork. You're breeding dog to dog. But, uh go ahead in this video here I'm gonna try to make the next video a little more action-packed for you guys that are uh, asking for that I know last night the video was uh, not very long and really couldn't show a whole lot after they coon jumped out of the tree dog ran down the hill we had to go down about 40 feet ended up in the creek but uh, as soon as we get out here tonight man hopefully we get a little more footage for you guys and show you guys everything as always, take care. God bless. Stay safe.